To the provincial election now, and Liberal leader Lynn McLeod was in Chatham this evening where she was greeted by about 160 of the party faithful. Her brief appearance saw the leader arrive in the Maple City around 5.30 for a rally at the headquarters of Chatham-Kent Liberal candidate Mike Ferguson. Essex-Kent Liberal candidate Patrick Poy was also on hand. McLeod is attacking the math that's used by Tory leader Mike Harris, saying his numbers simply don't add up. The Liberal leader said the Tory revolution has a $4 billion credibility gap. McLeod says the Tory numbers include billions of dollars in basic math errors and more than a billion dollars in underestimated tax revenue losses. I think people are going to want to know where the Conservatives are going to make $4 billion more in cuts on top of the $5.5 billion that they were already going to make. I think people are going to want to know what the impact of those cuts will be. It was also a busy day of campaigning for the other party leaders. Here's Kate Young. Campaigning in Toronto today, Conservative leader Mike Harris was jostled by a group of protesters who are against the Progressive Conservatives' Work Fair program. Harris suggested the federal government should split its gun control legislation. He wants Ottawa to pass the less contentious portions now and provide more information about the sections involving firearms registration. Uh, I don't think we're being given all the information on the registration portion uh, of the gun control package. And uh, I would suggest he split the bill uh, and, and let us quickly pass those parts we all agree with uh, and give us more information on the other. On a campaign swing through Guelph today, Premier Bob Ray says the New Democrats should not be counted out just yet. With just under two weeks to go in the campaign, Ray says people are responsible plan opponents. Out says it much as tax ideas of cutting taxes by four billion. She says she finds those ideas uh, quite uh, quite wacky. Well, she's proposing to cut taxes by nearly two billion dollars, which I suppose means that her ideas are only half wacky. The Freedom Party's fundraising dinner in London tonight drew its biggest turnout since the party was formed a dozen years ago. The party leader and London firefighter Jack Plant addressed supporters and the 12 candidates the party is fielding in this provincial election. He told them he's never seen such cynicism and apathy among voters. And he thinks the reason lies with the New Democrats, the Liberals and the Conservatives. All three parties, he said, are committed to universality, political correctness and to government monopolies. Much of the social and legislative history of Ontario over the past three decades has involved replacing what worked with what sounded good. In housing, justice, education, race relations, and especially health care. Four London high school students deserve a round of applause. The 